I've been eating so many of the different foods. I think I'm actually caught up on all the foods that I have right now without combining them too heavily. I mean, I cooked all these ones. I did some combinations. I haven't made any like cakes or anything, but I did make that crumble. I think I've used this to make like bread batch. Enchanted chocolate cake? Not yet, because uh, I didn't get any cows or cocoa beans. But anyway, um, I need, oh, glass, right, in here. Take this glass, and we're going to try and make some of this. Greenhouse glass. Now, I only want to make one for now, because I want to see how it, well it's going to work. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. What a scene. <laughs> All right, so let's go over here, and we're going to put this right here. I have no idea if it's actually going to help. Let's grab that one. And we'll leave these all to just kind of do their thing. So I'm, I'm harvesting a bunch of these right now. There we go. Grab some of these when they've got kind of like that little yellowy tint on them. And that means that they are harvestable, but they can get double tall, double tall. So I don't know if it's actually just going to get like extra growth, but it's this one in the middle. So we, fall, we will find out. And just to make sure, I'm going to do a sleep. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to want to do is fix a mistake that I made. In your typical um, create playthrough, zinc, there it is. You don't want to turn it into ingots. <laughs> nope, you're going to want to turn it in. You're going to want to grind it up in that millstone that I just made, along with a bunch of uh, uh, copper, I believe, and then you're going to want to make brass with that. Instead... I'm going to use mo other mods to fix my oopsie uh, of turning this into ingots. And that is going to involve alloy smelting with a basic alloy smelter, uh, which then I can combine the two together and make brass so that I can then use that brass in other inventions for, uh, you know, like kind of making elevators and other cool things like that. So let, let's see, how do I make a basic alloy smelter? And this is from Silence Mechanisms as well. Um, few copper, some stone machine frame, and some tin. So let's get a little bit of, what do we got? Copper here. Tin. That that tin, silver and tin look very similar. All right, but we're going to grab those. What else did I need here? Uh, bricks. I've got some cooking right now, and I'll need smooth stone, glass, and iron ingots, which, oh, did I use up all my smooth stone? Uh, I think I might have. Let's grab a bunch of this. We'll do 16 more smooth stone, and then I'll take another, uh, let's do 40, you know, let's do 48 of the cobble so I can make just regular stone here. There we go. We'll, we'll start with that. Actually, what we'll do shoot, uh, is I will have, oh, that's already cooking. This up here, take this out. This will just get me the... Uh, the rest of the smooth stone that I need real quick. I need a faster furnace is what I need. Uh, also compacted is in here which is great. I might end up replacing my uh, shovel with a, a compacted excavator maybe. That might be nice. Um, but I'll need four of those. There we go. I've got four. I need some glass which should be here. And then I think that's it for, yep, I think that should do it. Oh, and I've got the iron, of course, in my inventory, as I have been so far. Let's try and make basic alloy furnace. First, stone mechanism, or the stone machine frame, sorry, mechanism frame, and I need the bricks, which I should have now. Stone machine frame, yay, good for you. <laughs> I now have the bricks. And there we go, basic alloy smelter. No idea what this thing does, how it works, or what. So I'm going to set it here for now. Ooh. Oh, it takes RF. Oh. Ooh. Redstone mode. Redstone mode ignored. So you put your different items in here, like a bunch of copper and a bunch of zinc. And then you would need to power it. So... What kind of generators do we have in here? Um, oh my gosh, we've got power in here. Oh, we also have immersive engineering. Look at that. <laughs> 
thermo engine a thermo generator oh that would be pretty good it requires water but that that's not bad at all i could make that work if i have enough of this stuff wow that's the basic one or a magmatic generator that requires uh, lava being tossed in diesel lava coal from silence gems you know let's let's mix things up let's go with some other stuff um i mean i could go with thermoelectric generator from immersive as well but i've done that in so many ones cookie generator <laughs> i would do this but i still don't have cookies yet sorry and then the rf tools coal generator i think i've seen that plenty of times so let's try power and let's see what we can come up with because there's a ton of different options for it um furnators which you burn stuff and it gives you energy there's a basic one. What's that look like? It's just furnace, dielectric casing, bunch of iron. Mm, that's not too bad. I don't know that I have very much redstone, so that might be my limiting factor with this. That dielectric paste. Oh, it's a lot of coal. Ooh, lava bucket. That's going to be a little limiting too, because uh, that's going to be all the dielectric paste is going to be lava buckets. Thermo paste. Oh, wow. Blaze powder. All right. All right. So maybe I can't do the uh, thermal generator yet. Maybe I do the, the the burning one. Energy discharger. I thought there was some solar panels. There we go. Dielectric paste, lapis, and glass, which I don't think that I actually have found lapis yet. No. And I only have 30 redstone. Hmm. That's a little bit worrisome. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do here... Uh, are there tanks in here from better storage too hey that sounds pretty good how how difficult is that to make not difficult at all provided that you have enough glass already smelted up balance you have two let's just smelt the rest of the sand because seriously there's nothing else i'm going to use it for and we're going to grab that and in fact i'm going to grab this and we're going to leave eight in there and we're gonna do eight over here and then I'll put the rest back. That'll work. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make up a tank. I'm going to take this downstairs. I'm gonna hope that it retains its uh, contents. I might test it with, with, hmm, now that I think about it. What's that take, five? There's two, there we go. Can I make this right now? I need my iron. I'm just using the iron in my inventory. It's terrible. Um, so let's try this right now. How does it work? I has I has a water bucket. If I bucket in there, okay, simple enough. And if I break it, oh, that that takes a while to break. Oh, uh, does it keep its? Oh, they glass tank. That's wait, what? Did it just break? Really? It, it's not a portable tank? Oh crap. That's... That's not good. It didn't go anywhere, did it? I don't have any hoppers nearby. Oh wow. Okay, that's terrible. I just wasted four ingots just then. <laughs> I'm glad that I tested this first. Okay. So, um, I will need some glass. But what do we got here? Dimensional tank. No, I don't want the ender tank. That's a little bit cr too crazy for me. Etching tank, small fluid tank from pneuma pneumatic craft general fluid storage can be connected with tanks above and below with a wrench hmm right sounds pretty basic rf tools utility tank that can hold 32,000 millibuckets and allows filtering that would that's not bad that's just blue dye it's not lapis what about this Ooh, that's a lot cheaper let's let's try the cheaper chicken and see what happens with some of this we're gonna get that I'm going to try this one. It can hold up to... I have no idea. I would, I don't even know. Oh, no, that has to be compressed iron ingots. Well, I don't think that iron bars is going to go in there. I'm going to go in here. It looks as though I'm going to need to pick some blue flowers, which isn't that bad because there's, there's a lot of blue flowers out here. I mean, look at this. There's like too many in this spot. We're just going to take care of a couple of these ones and then... If I, can I toss these in the grinder? No, nope, grinder does not grind up flowers. That's fine. 
it it about tripled the ores that I got or the ingots that I got out of it. So I'm not complaining. Instead, what I'm going to do is get blue dye. There we go. And then with that, potentially make one of these couple gold nuggets and gems. No, it's going to be in here. Couple gold nuggets. Perfect. Now, the RF tools utility. What do we got? This one here, and then did the tank just move? No, there it is. I need two buckets, two glass. Not a problem to get the glass now. <laughs> I only have the one bucket, so I'm probably going to have to... Let's just make another one, because uh, honestly, I'm going to need to do so. So many different recipes. All right, tank, make it go. Now let's test this one. And if I take... A bucket which I just crafted into this thing of water all right and I click on it there's not it doesn't say anything I can get the bucket back okay so what if I put the bucket in and I break it oh it looks like it retains it or at least the image does and oh yep yep definitely all right cool this will work just fine. So I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to find myself some lava and I'm going to bucket that up and then bring it back upstairs because I'm going to need that for some of the dielectric paste I have in mind for power and I will be back. Hey, this works pretty darn good just using this silver shield. Of course, the durability is not the best. So, you know, that, that's kind of a thing. Uh, I also found out that putting an emerald is socketed into your uh, pick so that you occasionally will get that uh, instant break is a bad thing with Vein Miner <laughs> or, or Excavator because uh, it sometimes will go through the block that you're at like because it, it, it won't instant mine the block you just are mining. It will mine the block after that, which then could be stone. And then you take out almost all of your durability mining stone that you really could care less about. Oh, oh, some things you just gotta learn the hard way, I guess. Anyway, got myself some lava. There we go. I now have one massive amount of lava in there. I have no idea how many buckets are in there, but there's a lot. It, it's got to be around 32 or something like that. I also grabbed a little bit of redstone, obviously the cobblestone from the oops, and I found some diamonds. So I could, prob I could probably switch out my uh, sheer yo-yo. Uh, if anything, I don't think that I can actually do this with Tetra. No, I didn't think so. I need to remove that socket. <laughs> Maybe I could switch the binding out. Um, hmm. Maybe I just remove the socket I guess let's let's remove the module what about I switch out this oh 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 for diamonds now that I have a bunch um so let's socket in there diamonds that's just going to increase the durability a bunch it's going to increase its mining level I guess or something used for mining it's still going to keep it at three so why not it just increases it like <laughs> in gives me 50 percent more durability and who cares about that crit chance? Let's just craft it. Eats up a couple of my levels. No biggie. No biggie at all. Uh, so if I switch this out for Etsy, what if I choose diamond for this? Oh, wow. Everything but the pick turns into level three. <laughs> what about the iron pick side of it? And I do that with a, a pick head. Uh, hold on a second. Where is the pickaxe head? There we go. What if I choose diamond for that? Ooh, that's that's darn pretty. That's a lot of durability bonus. I don't care about the damage per se or the magic capacity really. That's gonna take two. Mmm, that's gonna be a lot to repair, but I might as well do it. Right? You only live once. Uh, do I have enough integrity? I think I do. Can I put that in there? Won't let me craft it because I need a hammer. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to leave it there, grab my hammer out of my inventory, my backpack here, and then craft. There we go. And if I switch the other side to the Atsy, is that going to allow me 
to switch this out? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, it stays three. So then I could, I could actually keep the other side as iron if I wanted. Because then that would also uh, lessen my chance of just using up um, <laughs> diamonds every single time. So let's try the Atsy head. We can do this. A couple of those. That's fine. I don't need more than level two of chopping and, and digging. But this allows me to chop, dig, and um, mine with this tool. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm going to keep it now. All right. Much happier. I basically have a diamond pick now, but I, I have to repair it with... I think two diamonds at a time. What happens if I choose? Yeah, the next one that it's going to need is going to be, it's going to need two diamonds for the next repair. Oof. So I might as well just keep these on me at this point, along with those. And I the uh, bone for the handle, which I could probably switch out to something else, considering this is a, a heavily modded server, or a heavily modded pack. I could probably switch that handle out to something besides just your standard vanilla stuff, but eh. Oh, and I've got some amethyst as well. I forgot about that. Let's put this in here. That gives me enough that I could potentially do a pair of trousers. That's what we're going to do right there. We're going to get lucky. Luck be a valent tonight. All right, there we go. And I might as well keep this backup set of trousers in there. And then I need to get rid of the rest of this stuff. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I am back. Greenhouse glass from Serene Seasons. Doesn't seem to give much of a boost considering that all the other ones are much higher than it. <laughs> so maybe it only works with vanilla. Maybe it needs to be completely encased in a room. I don't know. I don't know. It's things that I'm going to have to figure out as I play through this. So like I said, it's going to be a lot of experimentation, a lot of things I don't know. Other people may very well, and you're welcome to share this information in, in uh, the comments below. I think with this, I might be able to get enough of the... Uh, I might have enough string now to do... That's 10 more. Can I make enough? I, I might be able to, uh, to, to make another, another item of the, uh, the Mortem set. Let's grab what little we have. We've got some string here. That's enough that I could do. See, it's like eight string each. So I could I could do one more mortem item here. Let's try this because I think that's going to make two more cloth. I've got in my backpack two. What's the recipe? That's three and that's five. So if I have four right now, that means I could do three of them save that other one for later and make the chest plate. I just need one more bone or not the chest plate. Yeah, actually it is the chest plate. Look at that. There we go. All right, let's try that. I know I don't know what these look like either. It looks pretty good. Hmm. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's kind of like a little Skeletor action going on there. That's pretty good. <laughs> All right, just gonna empty out stuff in my chest or in my inventories. So remember those iron bars that I made before? Actually, let me grab my pick back out of here too. Ooh, that needs repair right away. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh dear, I should have repaired it before I upgraded it. Now it's gonna cost me double. And I don't have the hammer on me. Boy, I'm just like all over the place here. Let's finish crafting. Craft, there we go. What's the next repair material? Iron, okay, thank goodness, okay. <laughs> that I could manage a little bit easier. Put this back in here. Uh, but remember the uh, iron bars? Can I grab this? That I had uh, made <laughs> in trying to, to make a different uh, type of tank unit? Well, guess what? I'm going to be using them to make that furnator. I was looking at solar panel and I'm like, oh, this would be great. I can make this with lapis. Oh, uh, poo. <laughs> but wait a second. Maybe... Yeah, it doesn't rotate. There's no other ingredients that can be used for it. Can change for the middle, but not not for those ones. So I think I'm just going to go with the one that uh, the furniture that burns things. So it's just iron and some dielectric paste and redstone. So let's make dielectric paste. That's going to be lava bucket, clay, and coal or charcoal. I think I've got a bunch of clay. I've got some coal. I don't have any buckets of lava. I wonder if I get the... I should get the bucket back, if I'm not mistaken. Let's grab that. 
and that was that was risky. I just clicked on a <laughs> on that. I could have just placed that bucket. Uh, all right, so let's make some of this stuff. Sixteen, and I get the bucket back. Great. In fact, I'm going to do a second set of this because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need it. So then let's do the next bit here. So let's take that off there, that off there. We don't need those. Don't need the diamond or the other thing. I might skip the diamond yo-yo because the other one is just 0.5 lower and it has a, a bigger weight, so it's going to knock back better. Um, but I'm going to need basic capacitors, which means iron and redstone. I have some redstone. I have a lot of iron. So that is something that I can definitely manage. Can I make some of these? One, two... Uh, let's just start with that for now. And then this. I need to make this. Oh. Let's do that. I don't have enough. Oh, okay, there we go. It just wasn't showing up. That's really weird. <laughs> okay, so then I could transfer this over, make one of these. Did I not have enough? Oh, wait a minute. I need to take these and make the sideways ones. Okay, I forgot about that. Then we can make that. All right, so I should be able to make everything if I just grab enough stone for a furnace now. Uh, let's do one, two, three, four. Grab that. Furnace up. Done. And then we go furniture. Cool. Which should output power to machines nearby. Oh, and I need to move that already. Let's put this here. Grab that, and I can put that on top, because that's just fine. This should get... Hmm, I wonder. Will it work with lava? It does. <laughs> okay, so then it's power... Hey, look at that! It's working right away. We've got... It, it's, it's generating power, but it's being used as fast as it's coming through. Or at least I thought it was. No, it's backing up now. Wow. And that's going to last a while. That is nice. Can I get a energy cell? I might be able to make some of those and store some of this stuff. Or charger items. Hmm. Like jet packs. <laughs> oh, and I'm getting brass ingots already. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Oh, this is great. All right. So now that I've got enough of this stuff running around all over the place in my base, um, I mean, I don't have anything really pretty going on. I'm going to need to get some more space. I think what I'm going to do next time is look at some prefab. Uh, oh no! Okay, hold on a second. We can fix this. We can fix this. I'm going to take this sign and oh, they're going to bust in, aren't they? No, you're not going in there. It's not your house, it's my house. In fact, we're going to make sure that you don't come back. No solicitors. Done. This is a mod that prevents this guy from showing up with his llamas all over the place. <laughs> Everywhere you go. Ooh, fiendish powder. Brain coral block, bucket of puffer fish. <laughs> I could get one allium. Corruption powder. Corrupts blocks into underworld versions from dark utilities. Interesting stuff, but yeah. In the meantime, though, I think I could really make use of some leads. So we're going to make sure that you don't come back in two ways. One, the sign will prevent you from coming back. The second, I'm going to kill you. And your llamas. <laughs> because I could really use the leads without having to actually craft them myself. Thank you. Don't come back again. Okay, perfect. Look at that. I got a couple leads. Having visitors sometimes helps. Let's put these in my own bag for now because I think I'll use those again. Yes, I'm rude. Too bad. <laughs> deal with it uh, okay so as I was saying I think next time I'm going to look at a bunch of prefab and then um, maybe come up with a few different ideas for where we can place around some of these new buildings I'm, I'll probably get rid of some of these uh, the trees over here and we'll start setting up maybe a, a nice workshop down down in this area below the uh, this really bad stairway right here uh, for create stuff where we have like a main like uh, uh, stress unit supply area, like tons of 
water wheels and maybe I'll, I might go with a, a windmill, but I don't know. I see windmills there. I see windmills there. Heck, I might actually put a, um, a boat out here that's uh, got uh, water wheels behind it. You know, kind of a, a paddle paddle wheel boat type thing. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how things go. I'm just happy to see a whole lot of brass ingots being made. And uh, boy, that bucket of lava is going to last me quite some time. That's nice. <laughs> it's so nice. Oh, and it still has... It's not going down either. Not really. I mean, it's being used, but... Oh, that's so good. All right, the Furnator's not so bad. I thought I'd be burning up everything left and right, but I, I forgot that I just went and got like 30 or 40 buckets of lava. Anyway, um, I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. If so, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, don't be afraid to stop by on Twitch and come visit us because we uh, stream most nights. And uh, also don't be afraid to spread the mischief to others as it always helps us out. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye.